वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो इस मल्टीकल्चरल लाइफ स्टाइल प्रोग्राम में थोड़े नाल वक्रे वक्रे विषय थे हर रोज़ ऐसी सांझ पाया कर दिया तो आज इस प्रोग्राम दे आओ आगाज़ कर दिया इस इंटरव्यू दिनाल स्वागत है जी एक वरी फेयर थोड़ा आज दे इस सेगमेंट वेज आज थोड़ी मुलाकात एक वरी फेयर सिंग और पीछे होना ना करा� पिछले प्रोग्राम के इन्हों ने अपने विचार साझे किए थे अध्यात्मिक संतुष्टि बारे अज एक नव विषय लैके असी थोड़े अगे आए हैं अज की मुलाकात असी इंग्लिश करावे ता कि अपनी जी कहानी पीढ़ी है वो भी इन्हों ग समझ सकन सो वेलकम टू आर प्रोग्राम गुरप्रीत जी थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग इन थैंक यू थैंक सो गुरप्रीत जी वन एम थिंकिंग ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअल पाथ देर सम पीपल कॉल इट इन ऑन द पाथ टू एनलाइटमेंट अदर्स कॉल इट अ सर्च फॉर वननेस Uh, so there's different ways that I can go through that. Like I can uh, follow a teacher of some kind. I can go into organized religion. And then there's a lot of uh, the new age stuff and self-development kind of books. So what path do I choose? Like how do I know what path I should be choosing? Because mm -hmm. it's not just about what you're choosing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not about like there is a set path for this. It's just like uh, the person who have a thirst, person may be going to go into so many other things, person going to go into the religion or, or other teachers or, or even new age things like so much happening in these days. Mm -hmm. But depend on the person, if anything is satisfying the person or person easily being satisfied somewhere and then person not going to open more than that because mm -hmm. opening is from within. It's not from outside, mm -hmm. right? So anything is uh, helping you to open a little bit. How, what you are opening, you opening within. From within, you opening your own self, mm -hmm. not other things. So how do I know I'm opening within? Like how do I know that? Like because that's why, even I mentioned last time, you actually need a teacher. Right. Yeah. So the teacher you can actually trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The trust comes like from some kind of touch you just receive from the teacher. It's not just a mental understanding. Because mm -hmm. person is really want to understand, so person can do something. Mm -hmm. So even about going within, mm -hmm. person, person wants some kind of tool, so can use it, so enter inside. So those tools, they just become itself a wall to the person. They don't help that much person to return back in. Mm -hmm. Person's own seeing, person's own patterns, own beliefs, own self agendas, or or anything person have inside attachments, mm -hmm. they helping person to open up within though. Mm -hmm. But how are you gonna go even in there? You need someone who you gonna trust so you can able to tolerate this seeing, because seeing oneself is not that comfortable. So, so I can't read a book and you know do bot or you know read other scriptures and, and, and go down that path. Person can do whatever. Like they just everything helps on the certain level. Mm -hmm. Like, but they cannot really open you up completely mm -hmm. because person don't know how to open mm. in in a more than person know about anything. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. so you need a teacher who can really push you. Like it's okay to experience all this, mm -hmm. this discomfort you can experience. It's okay. It's not something bad. Mm -hmm. So you need like a more push from the teacher, because you're not gonna go there. Mm -hmm. There's so much in the person. Person don't go in that area inside, own self. So our egos get in our way. Is that what everything, you're saying? everything yeah. comes in the way because because. Uh, Created self is not small. Right. It's very big. Right. It's like person's own beliefs about own self comes in the way. Mm -hmm. Person have so many borrowed beliefs, mm -hmm. so they come in the way. Person have so many attachments, mm -hmm. so many, because mm -hmm. some of them person can relate. Right. But there's so many person even cannot relate. Person even don't know that how much attachment person have within. Right. Right. 
So you talk a lot about attachment, um, in, even in your satsangs, and um, I've always had that question um, that, you know, we live, live in a, like a social society, we, we have relationships, like we love our children, we love our families, and so how can I remain detached when there's so much attachment? Mm. Like how can I love somebody and not be attached to them? Because mm. the love we t like believe in a, in a surface level mm -hmm. is just mostly based on, on, the, on the created self. It's not real love. Mm -hmm. Even one can say so much like how much I love my children. Mm -hmm. It's like so lovely way the person can mm -hmm. say that. Mm -hmm. But as the person returned within and begin to see own self, mm -hmm. like own control, self-rightness, mm -hmm. self-agenda, and when they just begin to see little, little ways, your own self, and then you're gonna see it, like in every attachment, there is so much you. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are there different ways, you're just participating in the attachment so differently. Mm -hmm. So their love is not even close to that at all. So you're saying that it's not really love, it's actually an attachment yes. or, yeah. okay. It's wow. Because even person at the surface level, so much in the believing mm -hmm. that I am in <clears throat> even love with someone. Right. Even it's, it's not it's not truth. It's not mm -hmm. completely true, because mm -hmm. the person don't know the love. The person only able to experience the love when person gonna really become empty from within. Mm -hmm. You know, the created self is all discovered mm -hmm. by the person, mm -hmm. so it becomes empty. Then you really know what love is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because love have no holdings. Mm -hmm. It's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love, love don't have the wants and needs. It's there. Mm -hmm. okay? There is no right or wrong. It's there. Mm -hmm. okay? So you're talking about unconditional love. Is, is that what you're talking about? Like, yeah, we can call it unconditional. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but person, even when the person saying it is unconditional, it's still it's just like a concept in the mind, mm -hmm. unconditional love. Mm -hmm. right? Because person only know everything about the mind on the mind level. Mm -hmm. Person don't know more than that. Right. right. Yeah. Because mind can relate. You can relate with the mind everything. Mm -hmm. And more than that, you cannot relate. Mm -hmm. And then you don't trust more than that. The person don't trust. So, so what you're saying is that I need to first of all look at um, myself and my created self and, and work through that and then I'll get to a point where there'll be more love and then I can you know, tr you know truly love others out there like in, in my relationships is that is you just right? you only can just begin to see yourself mm -hmm. you cannot you cannot set up the goal like I, I am seeing myself so I can even love my family or my children or mm -hmm. you know have a better relationship because if your focus is on that mm -hmm. and then there is just like a self gain is there mm -hmm. in your seeing so you're not gonna see it mm -hmm. you're not gonna see clean way you're not gonna see honest way okay, so because this because the goal yeah. is there you the already goal, yeah. set up the goal mm -hmm. and there is a still self gain I want to love my children. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I am seeing already dishonesty. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, well, okay, so I'd like to continue that conversation after our break. Um, so, so, so those are some really good points that you've made around um, our actually our, um, having to have goal, uh, goals around, like it's my need really to do that versus I'm letting things unfold inside of me. Yeah, so we'll be right back with um, uh, another topic with Gurpreet. <laughs> Welcome back to the program. We're going to continue our conversations with Gurpreet Ji on spirituality and how we can connect with ourselves. So Gurpreet Ji, um, uh, before the break you were talking about uh, you know, choosing a teacher to uh, go on the path to uh, discovering ourselves or enlightenment. And we talked a little bit about um, love and the role of um, attachment and detachment. So can we just continue that conversation on detachment and, and how do I really go about um, detaching myself mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and is it from the, um, the, the outer world I'm detaching myself, is that? No, actually the outer world just shows you that you have attachment. Mm -hmm. It's not like you try to detach yourself from the outer world, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. this is a misunderstanding in the person. The person mm -hmm. just is already the focus is on the outer world, mm -hmm. like I need to detach from the outer world. The focus is still outward. Right. It's not going inward. So when the outer world is just showing tiny little bit, mm -hmm. like there is attachment mm -hmm. or disliking or expectations, the everything is in you though. Mm -hmm. You just come back and you mm -hmm. begin to stay with that, what you are recognizing in your own self. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you need to stay honest what you're recognizing. Because in the beginning, when the person turned the face within, person don't like that that right. I am the one expecting. Because mm -hmm. person is so used to on the blame. Mm -hmm. yeah? So just turning back and the person not gonna stay too long in it. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, the seeing, the first recognition, it just comes in a flash. Mm -hmm. You just see it just in a flash, your own judgment. Mm -hmm. yeah? So once you just seeing your own judgment, then you just learn how to stay closer to that area. Right. So where are you going to okay. stay longer and longer within what you are seeing? Because we're so conditioned to kind of blaming, uh, you know, everybody else for everything else that's going on in, in within us. Yeah. Right? yeah. Because person does stay outward. Right. Person is like in the, in the midst of the world, right. and the focus is always outward. Right. Yeah. Even person is trying to do its best to to stay within, but it's just a trying. It's not actually happening. Because right. the focus is still outward. Because that shows when somebody just step in your foot and you just see how much you are just going up and down. Right. It just shows. Mm -hmm. Like you're not within. Mm -hmm. yeah? So you are just so easily react or act. Right? So just staying within is not much in the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's why you need someone. It shows you again and again how to stay in the little bit. Mm -hmm. So when we're, when we're actually reflecting like that, um, one of the things that you talk about in your satsangs is actually um, going back to your heart. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that? What does that mean? Like how do I do that and what does it mean? Yeah, because when I just say either the person stay outward, person yeah. always stay outward in the world, and that world is in the mind, mm -hmm. right? In the thinking. Mm -hmm. The person is just staying present in the thinking, just rolling around, keep right. thinking. And I just always tell people, instead of just stay in there or try to correct yourself, correct your mind, come back in the heart. Right. So more you just come back in the heart, you're not fighting with your mind. You're mm -hmm. not fighting with your world. Mm -hmm. okay? So the first step is just like instead of you just go and, and try to fix yourself, try to detach yourself, just come. Just come back first though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this coming back first is maybe in the beginning, it's just like even physical heart. Mm -hmm. It's okay, mm -hmm. but this way you're not actually going up and down in your thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, most of us try to analyze what's going on and yeah. it's very logical, right? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. this way you're just cutting it. Yes. You're yeah. just cutting the crowd, right. your right. own crowd. Right. You're just cutting it and keep reminding yourself to come back, come mm -hmm. back here. And the other term that you use a lot is um, to stay in the softness. Yeah. And, and can, what does that mean? It's just like, you know, the heart, as soon as you just come back in your own self, just mm -hmm. reminding to come back, mm -hmm. you just have a very soft feeling. It's about the softness, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's just like you think about mind always, just like, it's just right away, there's a hardness, mm -hmm. closeness, mm -hmm. analyzing, judgment, everything. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you just come back in your own self, this is the first, your own soft touch. It's just so person is not aware of it. Is it about acceptance then, and non-judgment? In the softness, it's just, it's just person really, really need to stay in the softness so person can let everything dissolve in own self. Mm -hmm. Because okay? mm -hmm. if you're hard, how, how the anything can dissolve? Mm -hmm. The softness is important to the person. Mm -hmm. 
So I always even remind about the softness. I say, just even apply the kindness to your own self all mm -hmm. the time. As soon as you come back to your heart, mm -hmm. just remind yourself to be kind, mm -hmm. be gentle. Mm -hmm. So with you become yourself. more softer, yes, yeah, to you, yeah, within. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, because I guess when we're looking at all of our patterns and we're looking at all of the things that, oh, wow, like it's not really that person's fault, it's my fault, then you start the blame game. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So the judgment was first outward, right. and now is your own self. self yeah. yeah. And now the person really want to get out of it, right. want to fix it, right. become more harder. Mm -hmm. okay? So that's why I always say it's not easy to see your own self. Right. Because person really, and in every step, person become harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it becomes harder, or they, or isn't it more authentic too? Though, don't you become more authentic because you're realizing your own ways? It's a, the first whatever you just experience. It is very like it is there. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not there. But the person's own expectations again crawls in. Mm -hmm. Person want to fix it, person want to be a different than that. Person mm -hmm. always have the own picture where the person want to be a just a nice, good person, mm -hmm. pure person, right. right? But as soon as you're just facing it, you're just seeing your opposite picture. Yeah, that's really good because yeah I don't think there's anybody out there that wants to kind of I want to be the devil or I want to you know like I want to be a really mean person everybody wants to be a good person right? yes yeah. so it's just like even you see that mm -hmm. I don't want to be that person yeah I don't want to be a devil yeah okay. and and what you are doing to yourself you created already split in you right, right, right. you just you just keep going into the judgment mm -hmm. where you just hate this devil part mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. says and then the judgment is more bigger mm -hmm. right instead of step back and face the devil mm -hmm. then no more running <laughs> right well that's really good yeah. well good pretty that's all the time we have for today I really want to thank you for coming in and uh, sharing your views with our, our uh, viewers and I, I hope that you'll come back again and uh, share some more wisdom with us thank you thank you thank you